Welcome to Mars Saga, your gateway to the Red Planet. Subscribe now and join the journey. Welcome back to Mars Saga, where every shadow tells a story and every rock whispers from the past. In this episode, we dive deep beneath the rusted deserts and frozen dunes to uncover a forgotten truth. Mars was once a blue world. Billions of years ago, long before the first dinosaurs walked on Earth, Mars had oceans so vast they could drown continents. Waves crashed against volcanic cliffs, rain fell under a copper sky, and rivers flowed endlessly toward an ancient northern sea. Today, all that remains is silence, dry riverbeds, cracked basins, and ghostly traces of shorelines etched into stone. But these scars are not just geological relics, they are the fingerprints of a living planet that once dreamed in blue. Let's rewind time, four billion years into the past. The sun was young and wild, burning brighter and throwing solar storms across the solar system. But Mars was ready. With a magnetic field protecting it and an atmosphere thick as Earth's, the planet thrived. Volcanoes like Olympus Mons released steam and carbon dioxide, creating a greenhouse blanket that kept the planet warm. In that warmth, water condensed, forming clouds and then rain endless rain. It fell for centuries, filling craters, carving valleys, creating deltas so massive that they're still visible from orbit today. NASA's orbiters have mapped these networks, the ancient Nili Fosse, the winding Ma'adim Vallis, and the massive Kasei Vallis, once powerful rivers, carrying life-giving water from the highlands to the northern plains. If you stood on Mars during that time, you wouldn't have seen a desert you would have seen reflections of clouds dancing on an endless sea. But every paradise has its fall. The magnetic field began to fade. Without it, solar winds stripped away the atmosphere molecule by molecule. The oceans began to vanish, not all at once, but slowly, like breath leaving a dying world. Rivers ran thinner, lakes evaporated, and finally silence fell. The once blue planet turned red. Yet, the water didn't completely disappear. Some of it escaped into space. Some froze into glaciers at the poles. And a secret part, perhaps the most mysterious, sank underground, trapped beneath layers of rock and dust. Modern radar instruments like Marsis and Sharad have detected echoes that suggest vast underground ice deposits and even pockets of briny, salty water still existing today. Beneath the south polar cap, Reflective layers hint at a liquid lake sealed beneath miles of frozen carbon dioxide. If confirmed, it means that Mars's story is not over. It's still breathing, hidden beneath the ice. But how deep did those oceans once go? According to data from NASA's MAVEN mission, nearly 87% of Mars's original water has been lost to space over time. But the rest might still be here locked in minerals like hydrated clays, or frozen deep in the crust. Imagine that, billions of tons of ancient Martian water, frozen memories of a time when the planet could have been teeming with life. And if there was life, even microbial, it might have evolved in those oceans. The early Martian sea was rich in iron, silica, and nutrients from volcanic eruptions. Hydrothermal vents similar to those on Earth's ocean floors could have provided warmth and energy for primitive organisms. On Earth, such environments gave rise to early life. On Mars, they might have done the same and then vanished with the oceans that nurtured them. Today, scientists search for their fossils, not bones, but chemical ghosts left behind in ancient rocks. Rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance have found layered sediments that look eerily similar to Earth's lake beds. These layers preserve organic molecules, not proof of life, but evidence of the right ingredients. It's like finding an empty nest and wondering where the bird went. Still, the traces remain. The Delta and Jezero crater where Perseverance roams looks like something pulled straight from Earth's memory. Channels, ridges, and fine sediments shaped by flowing water. Each rock is a time capsule, waiting for human hands to open it. And soon we will. The upcoming Mars Sample Return mission aims to bring these samples back to Earth, where scientists will examine them atom by atom, 
searching for the faintest fingerprint of alien biology. But even if we never find life, Mars already teaches us something profound. It reminds us that worlds change, that beauty fades, but not without leaving its story behind. The dry basins we see today were once reflections of skies filled with clouds. The red dunes were once golden beaches. The silence we hear was once the music of waves and wind. And perhaps somewhere deep beneath the crust, in a dark, salty ocean that never froze, life still waits, patient, hidden, watching the stars through the ceiling of ice. One day humanity will return the favor. We will walk those ancient shores again, not as visitors, but as witnesses, carrying the echoes of two worlds that once shared the same dream. The dream of life. You've been watching Mars Saga, where the past is written in stone and every discovery takes us closer to the truth of who we are and where we come from. Until next time, keep looking up and keep believing that even in silence, the universe still speaks. Thanks for watching.